What's up everybody, Frank Valkyrie, welcome to the channel. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic today. So, first of all, leave a comment, let me know that, I mean it. And also, we gotta talk about an hashtag that is trending, which is very important, men too, on Twitter. And why we have to talk about this? Well, we have to talk about this simply for one very basic reason, which is that a lot of men survivors, when they come forward, they're not really believed. Matter of fact, they're mocked. They're mocked to an extent that some people even withdraw from public life for many, many years. And that's actually the case of the gentleman right here, Brendan Fraser. And now it's re-experiencing a comeback, if I'm not mistaken, with the movie The Whale, where he's portraying like a very obese man and he got um, I don't remember if it was in Venice or in Cannes or in a film festival I apologize for not being absolutely precise but he got the standing ovation um, pretty long which uh, kind of moved him I saw the video I thought it was very touching but anyway let's go backward for a second uh, and check out what happened to this man well Brendan Fraser, if you remember, was this hunky guy um, which was in many more light-hearted movies of the early 2000-ish, late 90s. Of course, you probably know The Mummy as one of the biggest movies that he has done. I have to say, you know what? The first Mummy was actually pretty legit. I enjoyed it very much. Maybe because I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones, so they kind of take on uh, a classic movie like the mummy probably inspired a little bit you know by indiana jones was pretty cool i have to say so and then of course this is him playing tarzan handsome dude um very fit so on and so forth but the thing that basically seemed to ruin his career was that um he came forward somewhere like um i don't know if it was 2003 or so i think and he named this abuser, which was uh, the ex-president Philip Burke of the HFPA. Um, so this seem, you know, in this article here, he narrates what happens. That basically, the the guy back in 2003 uh, was, uh, you know, like this word right here. I'm not saying it, otherwise I get immediately the yellow icon at the Beverly's Hotel, um, and he says, like, his left hand reached around, grabbed my uh, butt cheeks, and uh, one of his fingers touched me in the taint. Well, the taint is that part of the body in between the front of human anatomy, both for male and female, and the back, which tends to be the same for both male and female, all right? So that area in between, and starts to moving around, the actor said. Uh, Burke recounted the incident in, the, in his memoir with signs and wonders, uh, but said he pinched Fraser behind as a joke. According to Fraser, though, it wasn't a joke, and he was overcome with fear and had to remove Burke's hand. I felt ill, I felt like a little kid, I felt like there was a ball in my throat. I thought I was going to cry, so he rushed home and told his wife about the encounter but was afraid to go public with the incident as he'd, I didn't want to contend with how it made me feel uh, and already becoming part of my narrative. Absolutely understanding from the uh, Fraser point of view, of course. And I have to say, this obviously everybody reacts in a different manner, but uh, if you're touching me in a place uh, when I don't want to be touched, you get smacked. I'm not advocating for using your hands, okay? Not at all. But if you do that, you get smacked, okay? Because that's what happens. I didn't ask you to be there, not even close. And if I see those freaking fingers getting there, you get smacked, okay? You're going to see another utilization of five fingers, how they can be used, applying a certain speed, landing on your skin. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be pleasant, okay? I'm, go I'm willing to take 
the risk of the consequences, but if you touch me there, you know what happened. You know what it's happening, okay? So anyway, everybody reacts in a different way, and of course, um, he was mocked, Fraser, for this, you know, and blacklisted, apparently, that's what he's saying, from the uh, Hollywood Foreign Press, he wasn't invited anymore to any parties, and he withdrew from uh, society, and he didn't do much movie, some movies, and I think that probably spiraled in all kinds of things, because from coming forward describing this incident, all of a sudden his life was wrecked. Um, and if you remember, this is what very similarly happened to Johnny Depp, right? When his ex-wife came forward with uh, absurd allegations and Disney immediately dropped him right away. Let's also not forget that Disney was in talks with Johnny Depp to make a sixth Pirates of the Caribbean, even paying him like handsomely around 20 million pinky jingy jing, which is a lot of dough, eh? not only for pizzas, but for a lot of other things. Okay, even if you're already wealthy, you get a paycheck of 20, bum, on the table. That table better have very strong, sturdy legs because it might not manage to resist, stand the weight of that 20 mil. Okay. So, and he was fired, so not 20 mil. Uh, matter of fact, uh, he went through also uh, a lot of pain. So anyway, long story short, Fraser now is coming back because thanks to a movement, me men too, there is more awareness on the fact that both men and women can be survivors of any abuse. And there is just... No genders for that. There are freaking insane people out there in both categories, which they, for whatever reason, harm others. And, um, you know, the, the sad story about sociopath and narcissist is that they usually they cling on empath, good people, people which they're extremely sensitive, people which they try to take it on themselves to better others and themselves. And in the process, they get de heavily damaged. And it might take years and years to recover from that. And of course, sociopaths and uh, psychopaths and narcissists and people with borderline personalities. Well, uh, you know, I cannot put everything in the same categories. Of course, there is a spectrum of this. But definitely people which have personality disorders more on the higher part of the scales. Uh, narcissistic traits or narcissism and sociopathism. I don't even know if you can say that, but um, yeah, they tend to wreck themselves and people on their path. And unfortunately, there's a lot of good people which they are caught in the whirlpool of that mess. So closing this video, we have to be more aware and uh, it's important to advocate for men and women. And of course, make no mistake, whatever part of the Me Too movement, right, that advocates for women to come forward to be heard and for people anyway to be proven innocent before proving guilty in the court of law, you got to listen to everything. But any part of the Me Too movement, both for men and women, I'm an absolute supporter of that, you know. Uh, there is nothing more um, abysmal than uh, exercise evil on other people and uh, it's a uh, if anything it's necessary to make people aware not so much because i believe that certain things can be avoided uh, like you know you can i don't know honestly if you can fix a sociopath or a narcissist but at least what you can fix is to make people aware the empath the people on the receiving end perhaps to realize very early on the signs and that can spare a lot of pain so that's why I do a lot of those videos that's why I'm still talking about this and really whatever you can take good out of those videos uh, reading the news and, and talking about this over and over uh, whatever you take out of this of positivity I'm super happy about that so we will continue anyway very good for Fraser uh, coming back 
we look forward to see more of him. Um, that would be nice, of course, uh, to see him reprising some roles, even though some of those roles, of course, were inched a little bit too much on, on his looks. And of course, when the looks change, uh, you get less chances to reprise certain roles. But I'm sure, you know, like, this, uh, this, he's such a likable guy, you know. Uh, he comes across like a very good dude. So it'll be interesting to see him getting back into some nice movies, offered more movies. I look forward to see The Whale as well. So, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. By the way, again, um, I'm doing a little bit of publicity to my book. You know, don't, uh, don't be upset about that. Uh, I hope you don't mind. The book is on uh, Amazon and it's uh, super, super cheap now. There is another offer for the Kindle version for $174. That's ridiculously cheap, I suppose. It's basically almost free. So if you want to have a nice read, a little bit of Ancient Aliens, a little bit of Magical Realism, a little bit, like they say here, dark fantasy horror, dark fantasy, paranormal and urban fantasy, uh, the numbers are going better, I have to say. I'm nowhere near the top 100, but maybe one day with your help, we can get close to that. Huh? Anyway, guys, leave a comment. I'll talk to you later. Always spread love.